So we have finalized the Python crank game. Yay. So at the moment, it's only the channel members that have seen all the videos, but very, very soon you will see them too. And after that, I don't have any more Python videos. So the question here is, which Python videos would you like me to do next? So on the side of the crime game, I've been actually doing other projects. Some have been paid projects, some have been... Uh, personal projects. So I am going to give you seven scripts that I have created that I have used on either my projects or my customers' projects. And I'm going to ask you which one of those would you like to see, if any. If there is anything else that you would like to see, just let me know and I'll make it happen. But you need to be specific to say, I would like to have a financial project, will not help me. Okay, so if you want to me to create something else and be very specific about what that could be. So just go to the comments and let me know which project idea you would like me to do a video on or your own project idea and that's enough. You don't need to do anything else. So let's get started. So project idea number one, it is how to extract colors from an image. I have used that script to create the following charts. So on Mastodon, Mastodon is like a Twitter service. Um, I have a democracy tracker running. You've seen some of it. And what I am doing to color the chart is I'm getting the colors of the flags out and then using them to color the chart. Extremely useful. This is a service that is running uh, every day with a different country. So automatically goes picks the flag of the country, takes out the colors, and use them on the chart. Extremely neat, and it can be used for so many other things. So I can show you how to do that. The next project idea is find faces on images and extracting them with circles. I'll show you. So this is also for the democracy tracker where I'm using it. So what I want in this area chart or line chart I am plotting now the leaders that were in power at the time. And what I would like to do is not only put the name, but also put a face to the name. So to do that, I am going online, finding a portrait of the person, and then finding the face and cropping it with a circle. So you can see it actually here. So you see that this is the original file, and this is what the Python script does. So cool. Really, really neat. So let me know if you want to see this one. The next project idea is to find similar images. And this was for a real customer, this project. So the thing is that this customer had different web shops and they have the same products on the different web shops, but they had different article numbers, different names. So we needed a way to find them. And luckily, they were from the same suppliers. The image of the products were the same. So we were able to match the products by the image with a Python script. Very, very useful. And that brings me to the next Python project idea, which is to get images from the web and download it locally into your folder. This is related to the project for the customer. So we did not have an archive for all the images of all the products. So what we did is went to the ERP, got the product ID, created the URL for the web, and then had a Python script that went and got all the images down into a folder. So then we could apply the script to do the image match search. It was actually 60 million matches. Insane. And it worked on my computer. So cool. So the next one is how to automate the image creation. And I use this script to create the thumbnails for the Python crime. And I thought it was very appropriate to do it. And you can do these for uh, marketing content, for web images. You can do it for all kinds of things. And it basically will create images for you automatically. So I can show you that if you want to. Or... I could show you, this is related to Power BI. Here's the thing, this goes back to Mastodon again, you know, the Twitter alternative. So 
they have an API where they give statistics about how a Mastodon ecosystem is doing as a whole. But they only give you the 30 last, the, the last 30 days. And what I want to see is historically how it goes, if it's growing, how the engagement is. So I have a Python script that actually grabs the API data and sends it to Power BI service and saves it historically. So every day a new data point is created, is saved to Power BI service, and then I can retrieve the data when I need it. Very, very neat. And you can do this with an API, with any data that you like, just send it to Power BI for storage and then analysis. And last but not least, another project that I can show you that is actually very, very cool, is uh, how to summarize text. So the idea for this project was actually for my own use. I was thinking I can go to YouTube, grab the captions of the video, and then with the captions create a short text that I could use for you know, presenting on social media and other places. And um, it works very, very well when the text is not spoken text. So for example, if you have articles, if you have web pages, somebody has written, it works very, very well. For the captions, it didn't work that well. I guess I have to be more specific when I talk, especially at the beginning. But it is extremely neat for other types of written text. So I can show you how to do that too. So there you have it, seven projects that I've created that I have used. And they are extremely cool, very easy to do. Now, if you think that this might be too hard, I've been learning Python for, I think it's like six months now, almost. So if I can do it, you can do it. So let me know if you want me to show any of these projects in detail, how I did them, or if you would like me to do something else. And uh, yeah, I will see you again on the next video.